stress the final syllable in French. If there's one thing that I would say will improve your French accent in the easiest way possible, it's this. You should emphasize the last syllable of any word. What are syllables? All words are made up of a certain number of syllables. This is true in both French and English. Look at these English words, for instance. Fun is one syllable. Open, two syllables, open. Inspector, three syllables, in, spec, t. Helicopter, four syllables, he, li, cop, t. Inhospitable is five syllables, in, hos, pi, t, bull. Invisibility is six syllables, in, vi, zi, bi, li, ti. In English. In English, each word tends to have one syllable that you stress or emphasize more than the others. For example, if you say the word intelligent out loud, you'll notice that you stress the tell part in the middle, intelligent. If you were to stress a different syllable, it wouldn't quite sound right. Try saying intelligent or intelligent and you'll hear what I mean. Fantastic, fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. Delicious, delicious. There are even some words in English whose meanings change depending on which syllable you stress. For example, the word present has two syllables. If you stress the first syllable, present, it means a gift. But if you stress the second syllable, present, it means to give something to somebody, to present, or to be the presenter of a TV show. I'm going to give you a present tomorrow. Maria is going to present the show. This happens quite a lot in English. Present, present. Record, record. Perfect, perfect. Content, content. Project, project. But what does all this have to do with French? In French. In French, it's much easier than in English. You always stress the final syllable of every word. In 3-Minute French Course 1, we learned these two words. Parfait meaning perfect, and délicieux, meaning delicious. When you pronounce them, make sure you emphasize the final syllable. In English, we say perfect and delicious. In French, you say parfait and délicieux. Have a look at the pronunciation and stress of these words. Bonjour, bonjour means hello. So it's not bonjour, but bonjour. Merci, merci means thank you. It's not merci, but merci. Restaurant, restaurant means restaurant. So we emphasize the last syllable, restaurant. Garçon, garçon means boy. It's not garçon, but garçon. Français, français, means French. Madame, madame, means Mrs. I remember when I was in a French airport once and I was waiting in the queue at the passport control. People were going to the passport desk one at a time and I could more or less tell who was French and who was not French just by listening to the way they each pronounced the word merci. The French native speakers clearly emphasized the last syllable, merci, merci, whereas the non-French speakers were emphasizing the first syllable a little more, merci, and it just made them sound very, well, not French. This is always the case in French. 
Emphasize the last syllable. Merci. Merci. Délicieux. Délicieux. Absolument. Absolument. Fantastique. Fantastique. Normal. Normal. Let's practice. How do you pronounce these French words correctly? The first word, meaning house. Maison. Maison. The second word, meaning elephant. 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 The next word, meaning French. Français. Français. The fourth word, meaning to eat. Manger. Manger. The next word, meaning would like. Voudrait. Voudrait. The sixth word, meaning family. Famille. Famille. The next one, meaning tired. Fatigué. Fatigué. The next word, meaning busy. Occupé. Occupé. The next word meaning to sleep. Dormir. Dormir. The tenth word meaning please. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. The next word meaning child. Enfant. Enfant. The next word meaning resistance. Résistance. Résistance. The next word meaning important. 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 The fourteenth word meaning necessary. Nécessaire. Nécessaire. And the last word meaning fantastic. Fantastique. Fantastique. If you're finding this video useful, please consider pressing the like button. Or as the French say, le bouton j'aime. Or in fact, they tend to say, mettez un petit pouce levé. Which means put a little thumbs up. Or you might even be so kind as to subscribe, s'abonner, as it really helps this channel to grow and reach a wider audience. Merci. Comparison. There are lots of words that are the same, or at least very similar, in French and English. Let's have a look at how they're pronounced in each language so that you can compare the stress. I'll do the English word first, followed by the French word. Television, 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 radio, 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 Paris, 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 Internet, 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 Internet. Restaurant, 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 Canada, 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 Normandy, 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 Chateau, 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 Chateau. Cathedral, 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 magic, magic, magique, magique.